Joe, was that the perfect way to bounce back from Saturday's defeat to Charlton? It certainly was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a great, uh, very, very strong performance, very good performance. And, um, you know, disappointed and frustrated, really. Saturday had a lot to play, didn't we? And, uh, but anyway, you've got to move on quickly. So many games come in and uh, to win away from home 3-1. But a great performance as well. It was very pleasing. Was this a real marker, considering how well Lincoln have started this season? Well, yeah, I mean, they've... You know, I wouldn't have thought that a lot of people would have uh, been saying that Lincoln are going to start so well and, and maybe be up there in the top six, but it's been a difficult place to come for a lot of sides uh, this season. So uh, to come here and, and score three goals, I mean, and again, it could have been more, couldn't it, really? We had a, a lot of the play, a lot of chances, but it's a very pleasing scoreline and, um, and it just proves that we uh, have the ability to bounce back after a defeat. We've done that a few times now this season, so... Uh, but we're trying ourselves to get on a run, really, a run of wins rather than bouncing back. Marcus Harness and John Marquis are linking up so well at the moment, combining again for John's two goals. Just talk us through how well they're playing at the moment. Yeah, and they played up front um, at, at times this season in, in a pair, but tonight John played, I wouldn't call it the lone role, Ryan Williams was a little bit closer, Marcus played wide, but still they, they, they seem to have this um, ability to link up for the goals. Marcus did play like, a, a really great, weighted through ball to John there's still a hell of a lot to do for, uh, in terms of John scoring but it was a brilliant goal and um, you know took it inside into his right foot it was, it, like I said a really brilliant goal sort of half a chance really and he's, he's taken it fantastically John it's a great goal for us and a really good start and kept our run of scoring early in, in away games we've scored quickly in, in quite a lot of away games now and then for the second one you know Marcus on the right hand side he might have put the cross in with his left foot probably did I think but again John uh, Marcus in between defenders which you need to be in terms of when the, cross, when the ball when the crosses are coming in you've got to be in between and he's in between two centre halves there and you know gives you a chance when you head, to think, head the ball down gives you a chance to score and then heads it down another really good goal scorer's goal very good cross and you know John in the right place right time and it's a, a combination for us either a, down the middle or, or one wide or, or, and one up there that is a uh, in terms of fruition, in terms of sco- uh, creating the scoring goals, has been the best one so far. A word on the defence. You're without two of your stalwarts today. Jack Watmore picked up an injury against Charlton. Lee Brown pulled out late last minute, but Campering and Rasmus Nikolaisen coming in and performing admirably, and, and Tom, Tom Naylor as well in front of those two. Very much so, yeah, and uh, a bit disappointed that they managed to get a goal, if I'm honest. We, you know, we'd like to have uh, not conceded tonight. Um, but, you know, Rasmus is. He's a good player, um, a very good player, and played very well. Just been waiting for his chance, and um, I think I said last week that once he gets his chance, it might be difficult for you know people to take the shirt back off him. And he played very well tonight. Does give us some very good balance with his left foot and gives us an extra um, an extra part of, the, of of distribution in terms of, of going forwards. But he's there to defend and keep clean sheets. And then putting Sean across on to the right hand side, you know, he's a natural right-footed player. And uh, even his distribution was very good tonight as well. So had good balance with it. Tom Naylor, I mean, he's just, you know, we sort of call him a warrior. And, and uh, his consistency for us is, is, is excellent, isn't it? He's a very consistent person, performer and um, captain, leader. He, you know, he's a, you know, he's a great bloke. Everyone's got a lot of time for Tom. And, and between the three of them, they played very well tonight. And finally, Joe, time to back it up against Ipswich on Saturday, this time in the Cup instead of the league. Yeah. Well, it's away, so we've got a chance. <laughs> you know, we, we seem to have reserved our better results anyway so far this season away from home. Hasn't been like that in previous previous seasons. But um, big game, yep. Yeah, fellow rivals in terms of League One. Uh, didn't get together last year, did we, with, the, uh, uh, with what, what's gone on. And uh, we look forward to it. The spirit's, the spirit's as good as, since we've been here, it's as good as it's been. And um, we'll look forward to the game, but very tough game. But... Excited to go to Ipswich, big club, big ground, a lot of history there and see what we can do.